The Yuan Wang-5 is a vessel used for tracking satellites and intercontinental ballistic missiles and was located some 680 nautical miles away from Sri Lanka. It's currently sailing at a speed of 14 knots, but earlier it was travelling at a speed of between 10 to 13 knots. India has repeatedly voiced protest against the vessel arriving in Sri Lanka, citing security concerns, and yesterday, the Sri Lankan Ministry of Foreign Affairs said it requested China to defer the visit of the Yuan Wang-5. On the 28th of June, China announced that the Yuan Wang-5 would reach Hambantota and the Foreign Ministry had granted permission on the 12th of July. It was only after that that the Yuan Wang left a Chinese port on the 14th of July. A Pakistan warship is on its maiden voyage to Pakistan while exercising en route with Cambodian and Malaysian navies. The ship is expected to be at the Colombo port from the 12th to the 15th of August. The Chinese-built Pakistani guided missile frigate PNS Thaimur is to make a port call at Colombo while on its way to join the Pakistan Navy in Karachi. While Sri Lanka gave permission to the Pakistani guided missile frigate to make a port call at Colombo, it is understood that the ship was denied permission to make a port call at the Chattogram port by Sheikh Hasina government from the 7th to the 10th of August after making a port call at the Lumut port in Malaysia. According to diplomatic sources, India's close ally Bangladesh denied permission to the PNS Thaimur as August is a month of mourning for Sheikh Hasina as her father, Sheikh Mujib ur Rehman, was assassinated by Pakistan instigated and Jamaiti Islami inspired radical Islamist forces on the 15th of August in 1975. So what happens now? The state-of-the-art Chinese vessel for tracking satellites and intercontinental ballistic missiles reaching Hambantota and the Chinese-built Pakistani guided missile frigate heading to Colombo are taking place within a single window. How will Sri Lanka's neighbour India respond to these developments? Sri Lanka's strategic location on the world map brings great benefits to the country. However, short-sighted political decisions made by those in power have converted these benefits into disadvantages. Sri Lanka is in the midst of a tussle between two world superpowers, mainly due to short-sighted decisions made from time to time. What happened to Ukraine? Ukraine wanted to join NATO and in the process it lost both NATO and Russia. Taiwan is also in the middle of a power struggle between the US and China. What is happening to Sri Lanka? On one side, strategic locations have been given to China and others have been given to India. The Yuan Wong-5 left a Chinese port after the Sri Lankan Foreign Ministry gave the green light. This is not a simple issue where you invite a friend over and then ask him not to come. Sri Lanka is seeking to defer the visit of the Chinese ship after it had already travelled many miles since leaving the port. These issues need to be solved diplomatically. Does Sri Lanka need diplomacy if we are to follow a process where we anger China because India does not like it or anger India because China says no? Are those in power continuing to make baseless comments with zero professionalism while wasting time until Sri Lanka becomes a party to this geopolitical crisis?